Welcome to 7-Minute Solutions. I'm Rod Bryant here at Nativ.net. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to uh, 7-Minute Solutions. You know, I'm humbled to know that the Nativ community worldwide truly is diverse. I, I don't want to seem braggadocious, but our group is a genuine variety of different ages, genders, races, even faith backgrounds. Now think about this for a moment. You walk into a church, and for the most part, what do you find? Christians. If you walk into a synagogue, what do you find? Jews. That's the beauty of our community. You don't need a specific faith to come and feel comfortable. You just need one thing, a sincere desire to know and to serve the one true God. That's why Nativ is a center for Torah study and not a church or synagogue or mosque. Now, don't get me wrong. We're not universalists, just universal Torahist, if that makes sense. Because the truth is simple. The creator of the universe built this world with everything in it with a purpose. And your life and my life should be spent searching for that purpose, which God placed inside of each one of us with the goal of fulfilling it. Hashem gave you a mission in this life. Now, before you go insane and stress out and start worrying about whether or not you've, you will find your path, your way, I want you to learn one simple phrase that is well known in, in Judaism, and it says this, there is nothing besides him, meaning God. There is nothing besides God. The phrase is a bit of a mantra in some Jewish sects like Brislov, who hold it as a central foundation. I mean, everything comes from God, the good, the seemingly bad, everything. When we think about finding the Creator's purpose in our life, it can be a bit daunting. After all, God is pretty huge, right? And His purpose for me must be really just as huge. But friends... As with everything, perspective is key. Take a clock. Each piece is small, seemingly insufficient, in, insignificant. But if one piece fails to fulfill its purpose, the whole machine ceases to work. Again, that can be a little intimidating. You may be thinking, I better kick it into gear. I may be losing so much uh, in this very moment, failure right now around the corner. What am I going to do? You know, there is so much to be done and so much I have really missed out on doing. Please understand that God needs no contingency plan. You are planned for your life with its ups and its downs is all part of this. Everything comes from God. There is nothing besides him. We sometimes have the tendency or have a tendency to look at people as though their level is completely beyond our grasp. And, you know, like sometimes certain characters come around and it's like they're not even playing the same game, much less the same league as us. A perfect example is Avraham with a giant faith Sometimes it's hard to even consider that this man, as holy as he was, was still just a man, like you and I. And before he was Avraham of Inu, the father of the Jewish people, he was Avram, son of Terah, Terah, an idol maker. Before he was a great patriarch of the biblical faith, he was just a vessel full of potential, just like you and I. Avraham was a Jew before Jews existed. And in a cosmic way, we are all Avraham, just giant vessels of potential. For many reasons, we even have a similar beginning into, uh, to Avraham. Many of us were not raised Jewish. In fact, many of us come from idolatry. Many of us had to leave uh, and eventually Uh, what we considered a firm foundation to seek after God and had never truly known this God before. Many of us set out on this journey with a little more than conviction that there was one God and that one God is not a man. And if this is you, then you know what it's like to be Avraham Avinu before he 
became one of the most notable men in history. Hashem has given us a delicious opportunity to play an important role in the world. Let us learn from Abraham, our father, about what it means to have faith, even when we sometimes don't fully know what it means. Let us rest in the fact that everything comes from God. There is nothing beside him. And let us seek him and serve him with the same spirit as the patriarchs, who was told by God simply to go for yourself. And he went. You've been listening to 7-Minute Solutions here on Native.net. Thank you so much for taking time each week to join us. If you would like us to discuss some other subjects uh, besides the ones we had already covered, please feel free to go to the contact page on Native.net and uh, just express your questions. Thank you so much and have a wonderful week. Shalom.